Hi guys, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own executor. First, you're going to need, uh, you're, you're going to first need these things. Get going with your devs, and then scroll down, get exploit.ap, or API v1, and then this is your, uh, basically your API to run, or use your executor, and then, that you're gonna go and type in fast it's called fast colored text box and it should be a dilmi look for dilmi and then yeah it's right here but I'm just gonna put all these in the link description please download this because this is something you're gonna need to after you have downloaded those two things uh, you want to go and have visual studio and what you do is when you're doing this make sure you do not pick dot net core i have got confused and when you do it it's wrong and you want for windows format dot net framework so it's um just type in window just type in windows form like i did and look for dot net framework because i got this wrong when i was trying to make my own and yeah, and there's people who have problems with it on YouTube. I see when I'm making it and stuff. Um, I see a lot of people messing up because they say, or saying that they can't get on and it only shows code. Make sure you're in dot framework so you can see visual and design it and then code it. You want to name the project or anything. I'm going to name this. Um, nah. Uh, I'll just name this. Uh, test. Oh no. Uh, and yeah, this basically just keep the same thing. Make sure it's in repos, cause or if you want to put a desktop folder, it's called by exploit or executors. Uh, you can do that. Uh, so it's just gonna create the file or create the project that you're about to do. There, after you load in, I want you to uh, first thing first first. Click references. If you don't see it, it says, excuse me, in your solution explorer, there should be properties. And then if you see references, make sure you right click, add references. And then, now this won't be here. Click browse. And you got to find this one. And then you want to find we are devs. But you got to do it one at a time. So, like this one, add it. And then you gotta go back in, and then this one, and add, and then they'll both be here like this. They it might be checkmark already, but if they aren't, just click it like this, and then make sure they're both in. Click OK, and bam. Now make sure your your antivirus is turned off because if your antivirus it might it will delete the weird devs API because of thinking it because it could it might delete it. Because it happened to me when I was having my downloads and then it wouldn't load and it said it had an error and I couldn't find the API. So make sure you have your uh, antivirus off. And plus, this is something you can do anything entirely. Now, if you want to go into a little, uh, if you want to color the background and everything, I will do this just so you understand. Now, after you've done that, you want to go and you want, you can get, Call it fast and color and then type it fast in a toolbox. It's on your left. After you do that, click double click this. It should be in your you know designing area or your application that you tried to make. Uh, oops, sorry, I feel like duplicated. Um you just want this is gonna be your script box or where you put your, all your scripts and uh basically uh, you could design, just make it any way you want. I'm not going to make it that big, but I'm just going to do this way for now. And I'm going to like, just do it like that. And then you stretch it out, like, however you want. I'm going to go like this. Now what you want is, you want a button. Go in the toolbox again, and hit button. Now, when you get the button, you can uh, just make it on whatever you want, how size you want it. I'm going to make it uh, like this. You don't have to exactly follow the, but yeah, you can make buttons, some buttons. 
and you can still adjust the size. You cannot adjust the top. I don't know why, but that's kind of kind of weird to me sometimes. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Cause I don't need. I'm not gonna have a lot of buttons. Now you can re-click button a lot. I, I suggest click Control C and Control V. V dead. Yeah, that's only two times. We're not gonna do save file. All of us did save files where you had to have another one, so you can have a script there or a text box there where you can just load the scripts. I haven't learned that yet. And I will, if I do want to, and I fully do learn it, I will show it. Um, after you've done that and you got your first color box, uh, you wanna go and name any of the buttons in how any way you wanna name. In properties, right down here below your solution explorer and where your references was, look down here and then look all the way until you see text and it should be right by right to the left in text align. If you see that, click type in execute or whatever you want to type in for the first button and then just type in anything for the second one and the other third one. <coughs> So yeah, I'm just naming it. If you want to name it like this, you can. I don't care really. Okay, now that we got our little execute buttons ready, um, we're gonna actually I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Okay, now that you got that done, you wanna go and go in. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, you wanna after you did your design. If you want to color, I'll show you that just real quick. Basically, when you're doing color, you want to do color for your buttons to make sure if it's going to be the same color. I will show button colors, and you can do background colors like that. Um, if you want to do my colors, you don't have to do this, but if you don't want colors, then don't do it. I'm going to show you how to do colors. Uh, we're going to make the background color what we use. I usually do this. Give it a little background side apps color. There. Now you can make it black, and then you can make this kind of black, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it a little gray. So it gives it that little side apps type feeling. If, if you want, you can get rid of borders. I think, yeah, you can get rid of borders and everything. Um, But yeah, we're going to make the... I'm gonna see if the text now text is uh where is it? Right here. Four colors your text and font you change that if you want, honestly. Um I'm gonna turn the white. And then yeah, you got that. And then when you're doing this, you can make your execute buttons kinda like that color too by just doing the same thing. But we're gonna keep it like gray. We're gonna like see if it gray. Let's put all gray, the same gray, and custom. And then if you're saying, oh, no, I can't see it, if you're doing this, you say you can't see it. Well, all you got to do is basically go to four color and make it white. And you should be able to see it if it's black. See, like that. Now, I, wasn't, I, want, I haven't figured out or how to remember how to take the borders out because I kind of don't like it that much. Oops, wrong color. But, yeah, I would get rid of it if I can't figure it out. I'm going to mess around with it in a minute after the video. So, after that, you can do that. It looks pretty cool and stuff. So, yeah. And then if you want to, before we go and do the other stuff like we got to do, you can change form one into the name you want because it's going to be form one. So click the whole thing, like the whole thing, not the buttons or not this. And you want to go. Oh, make sure you got to check sometimes. Okay, this is it. So where is all the text was appearance, basically, in periods. You're going to name it anything you want. So we're going to name it test. Ploy. Yeah, test points, and after you did that, um, you're gonna go and start coding. This is not the hard part. This is actually really easy for you guys and me. Well, when you double click any of the buttons, it will take you to the code for the buttons. Like here, it takes me instantly. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description to the code 
for it to, to uh, you only have to copy and paste into your executor and inject and then clear your bathroom and that's all. So execute, you want to just, you can control V and then bam. And then all you got to do is go back to design, clear, make sure, and then clear or, or whatever button that is or clear your clear button, bam. Bop. And then, if you do that, you would take your eject button, copy it, and go and inject. Now, you might be saying, oh no, he forgot something. Yeah, um, when you're doing this, type over here where it says using and everything, type in using. It's just not in the code, you gotta t you type this. We are, and then you should say weird as API, and then have that. It's I don't, I don't know what the name is really, but you need this to e so this will work. So the errors will go away if you don't do this. The errors won't go away, and yeah. But yeah, there's some other stuff. If you want to change this, like I don't know, like add obsolete. There's no issues. At first, if you want to do that, then you have no issues, and the thing will be fine. After you do that, and after you're done, um, you can just basically click start. But what we're going to do is build it. You want to click build or control B. And after you click control B, it will start to build the executor. Now that the it succeeded, and it's done. So now what you do is you can close it out. Or you can click start to use it now if you test it out. After you do that, you want to go on, like, you can just go on any Roblox game, but we're going to go in our, you got to go on your file, explorer, put it wherever you put it, uh, okay, so, let me see. come on, so we got to find it, um, oh yeah, I forgot, you can, uh, go here. You can copy and actually paste this. Copy this. So it's in Jaden sort. Okay. So it's in my PC. PC. My name for my PC. Like, I, I gotta look for that. Where my name is. Users. Jaden. Me. Source. Repos. There's all my stuff. And then test points. And then test points. Bin debug and right here. This is all your stuff. Now, if you want to make it into a folder, all you gotta do is just, you know get a folder, name it, and it, I would suggest name it like the name of it. So test point, test points. Um, and then all you gotta do is. You can open it right now, but you sh uh, you can just put that in, and then put your API deal in. And just the cool thing is, you don't have to open no more keys, so you just open it, and bam! Watch, it's gonna open. Give it a sec. <clears throat> but oh. I didn't think I'd open it. Beep, beep. Come on, open. Um, okay, so it's not opening. If it doesn't open, I should, we're just gonna, what you should do probably is, it's probably because we have to put it, uh, let's just put it back in this folder that it was before, so we're gonna do that real quick. See, if make sure it doesn't work anymore. Okay, yes, it doesn't. Okay, so we gotta go back, um, uh, actually, and go back to...
Let's just re-put it back in. Let, let, just leave it in for now, and then... Yeah, okay, there. Just leave it in. Sorry, guys, that I did make this screw up. But, yeah, and then you can... This icon, you probably might like it. Like, ugh, what is that icon? Well, you can't change it. I'll show you how to change it in a minute. All I gotta do is go... Scroll down. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Right here. You just gotta look for that icon right here. Click this. Now you're gonna have to go to a, like down a PNG and then type in PNG into ICO and then you can do this. Bam, and then the icon changes. So yeah, that's what you can do too. I'm not gonna do it right now. But yeah, after you do this you can it's basically your script computer. I don't got no scripts on my computer, but I will get one in a sec. Um I'll show you how it works. Uh that it I'm gonna just show you in my game that I have. We're just gonna show you in this game real quick. Um, yeah, show you that it does work and it doesn't take long as this long. It really is really quick once you get it down and when you do it a lot of times, Jesse, because I done it before. Now all you gotta do is inject. Boom, it worked. See, that's pretty much proof. But you know you wanna see a script. I don't know how to do the print high thing yet. Print. No, make sure you're in F. Now, know that this works is all you gotta do is say print. If you don't know how to do print, then like me, then yeah. You're like me. So, hi. And I don't know if this is how it works. But if it doesn't work, but it says nil, that means it did work anyway. Where? 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 Yeah, but it's just me. My, my my mouse is gone. Yeah, it's, it's going away. I don't know why, but it's 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 not gonna go away forever. You just got. But yeah, you can hide them too, like that, if you want. I don't. I don't want to suggest to do that because it's kind of weird. But yeah. But yeah, and it works with a lot of, uh, see, like, it, it's working, uh, and yeah, that's how you make your own little executor, guys, and uh, yeah, bye, guys, and uh, have a good day.